Hello friends, in today's video I'm going to be doing a compilation of two different days. Um, the first day, it was one day last week, I think it was Thursday or Friday? Thursday, I think. Um, Olivia and I went, we had some errands to do in town and we passed this um, garage sale that we had stopped at before and she always has a tons of stuff. And so um, I stopped and I found some stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert that footage here. Olivia and I went to a garage sale today. We saw the sign. She, This lady has garage sales often. She has a bunch of stuff that was her mother's and that's why I really like going to this sale because there's always a lot of really cool vintage things. And um, Olivia got, this was the same place where Olivia got her Coca-Cola doll. And so today she got this doll and um, she paid $7.50 for it. And then I got a bunch of things that I was thinking might fit in my um, printer's tray. First thing I saw was this beautiful serving dish. I love green glass and um, it was $5. And I thought this would be so pretty at Thanksgiving time. So I just loved it. So I picked this up. And then I got an assortment of little bitty things, like I said, for my um, printer's tray. And a lot of the things weren't marked price-wise, so, so she just gave them from, to me for like 50 cents, 25 cents. But this little, this little bird, this adorable, tiny little bird, I'll put that under B. For bird, of course. And then, um, I don't know if this one will fit in that tray, but it's definitely vintage and I really liked it. And so if it doesn't fit in the tray, I'll put it in my little mouse village, this little rabbit. Like I said, I don't know how much these little things were because I mean, they were just a few cents. This is a vintage deer, little reindeer. Again, I'm not sure if it'll fit in my tray, but I just couldn't pass it up. It's so vintage. And then this, I am gonna take the little teddy bear off and this is gonna go in my uh, little mouse village of the, this little mailbox. Thought it was really cute. And then this one, it's another, I haven't yet measured the openings of my, um, printer's tray. Uh, I need to do that, but I thought for L, L for Leprechaun, pick that up. And then this is a keychain, or it used to be a keychain, and it's a, uh, got a bunch of zoo animals. So I was going to put this um, under Z, Z for zoo. This is just a cute little Santa pin. So I'll put this in the tray too. Um, if the S's are already filled, which I think they might be, I'll just put this in one of the other little openings. And then I got this hummingbird, H for hummingbird. And then in this bag, there were several things in here that I don't really want, but there was some things in here I did want. It was 75 cents for the whole bag. So let's see what's in here. These, these little critters was what I wanted. H, hippo for H. Lion, L for lion. E, I already have an elephant in, for E, so I might stick this in one of the other small little openings. And then tiger, T for tiger. And then these other things I wasn't really super wanting. I mean, they're cute. My, they're magnets. I might just stick them on my fridge because they're kind of cute. And then, oh, this one, G for giraffe. And these other magnets, 
this one's kind of pretty, but I think I'm just probably just gonna throw these away because don't really have any use for those. All right, that's my little garage sale haul for today. So most of the things I bought at that garage sale do fit. There's the giraffe and the hummingbird and the zoo, tiger. There's the little bird. The hippo I put up there because I already have H, the H slots were already filled. And let's see, lion. The rabbit did fit. Its feet stick out a little bit, but that's okay. On the leprechaun, it fit too. Now the little Santa pin didn't really fit very well. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep it and use it for um, just to wear at Christmas time. And here's the elephant. He's kind of leaning. Fix him. There we go. There we go. This is filling up fast. <laughs> well, I still have a lot of openings, but so much fun. Now the second part of this video, and hence the reason why it's called a secret thrift haul, is that I have some secrets here from Olivia for Christmas. Last week I had to go and get my um, chiropractor, not chiropractor, massage. And while I was there, the thrift store that we love is just right down, across the road and down one building. So I went in, and if you remember in my um, vlog, I shared that I had picked this up for her there. Well, there was actually two other pieces to the set. And I got to thinking about it and I thought, I'm gonna go back and I am going to get those other two pieces for her for Christmas. Now I have to speak a little bit softer because she's here, she's still in bed. Hence the reason I have no makeup on. This is in the morning. But I wanted to do this um, thrift haul for you and get it up because tomorrow I wanna get this up tomorrow. And this was my best time to film it. So while I went went back, I had to go to town yesterday and she didn't go with me. And so I thought I'm gonna go back to Twice Treasured and get those other two items. And of course, while I was in there, I ran through the store really quick and I found a couple of items for me. So let's get on with the shh, secret thrift haul. So one of the other pieces, and I'm sorry, I don't have the price tags on any of this stuff and I can't find my receipt, but I'll try to remember how much they were. I don't know how lucky, I'll, how, how successful I'll be at that. So the first thing I got was this, and I remember this one was $12. So cute. And then the next item I believe was 18? I can't remember. I think it was 18. So all three of these, all three of these are gonna be so cute together. If I can show all three of them at once, I don't know if I can. All three of these are gonna be so cute and she is gonna be so surprised. And I bet you the next time we go thrifting, she's gonna notice they're gone and be upset and I'm not gonna say a word. All right, I'm gonna get these things put away really quick just in case she wakes up and then I'll bring you back and I just picked up a couple items and I will show you what I picked up. All right, those are safely tucked away where she'll probably never find them. <laughs> so I wanna go ahead and get on with my, my thrift haul here. And um, I only have four items. The first item is this. I thought this would be beautiful in my fall decor. And I probably will leave it up all year round just because it's so, so neat. And it's got a mark on the bottom. Peerage, P-E-E. 
P-E-E-R-A-G-E, -E, made in England. I'll have to look that up and see if I can find anything out about it. But it's got this really neat picture on it. Um, I can't really tell. <clears throat> I can't really tell what they're doing. I think they're sitting at a table playing checkers or dominoes or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's a bar scene. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something for me to have a bar scene in my house, which I when I don't drink. But anyway. I just thought this was really, really pretty, and um, I paid, it was $20, but it was 40% off. So whatever that is, <laughs> I remember the price of this one. The other three items I don't remember the price for, but I don't think I paid more than five or $6 for any of them. Um, this one I know was like only $2, maybe $2.50. I got this also for my fall decor. So you will see these items again probably during my home decor tour. This one says, um, I can't read it unless I take my glasses off. Made in occupied Japan. So I know that means something that this is pretty old. Made in occupied Japan. Would that have been during World War II when China occupied Japan? Wait, no, that wouldn't be right. Japan, hmm it wasn't China we were at war with, it was Japan. I don't know, I'll have to do some research on that. But I just thought it was really pretty and I didn't read the back when I picked it up because it was only, like I said, it was only $2, $2.50 and it was perfect for fall decor so that's why I picked it up. I got some research to do on these two items. So then the last two items are little trinket boxes. I don't think they're old or anything special. But on my printer's tray, I already had one trinket box that I had bought at a garage sale or something, hadn't spent much money on it, and I found it. And even though it is a Santa Claus, I thought it was so cute. And I discovered that little trinket boxes fit perfectly on the top of that printer's tray. So I thought, hmm, I guess I'm gonna start collecting trinket boxes, at least till the top of that tray's filled. So I saw this one there, and like I said, I don't, I don't think I paid more than $5 for it. And I thought about it and thought about it, and I'm like, hmm, typically this would be something you would give to a teacher because of the apple and the books. But, whoa, almost dropped it. But, I can see it opens. I consider myself a retired teacher because I homeschooled my kids for 13 years. <laughs> so I I consider myself a, home, a teacher, even though I didn't go to college to be a teacher, I consider myself a teacher because my kids graduated and they're doing fantastic in this world, so that's a success. Anyway, so I thought I'm gonna get that to remember my homeschooling days by. And then the last item is another little trinket box and I just thought it was so pretty. Um, this again, I do not play the piano. I wish I did, but I do not. But I love tea. And it's a little teapot and it's really, really pretty. I love the black and white and the little rose. <clears throat> and again, it opens. And I just thought it was absolutely adorable. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these little items cleaned up and put them in place. I don't think Olivia will notice. And if she does, I'll just say, oh, I picked those up thrifting, <laughs> which won't be a lie. And I'll bring you back and show you what they look like in place. Sorry for the lighting and for my shadow. There's not a whole lot I can do. Oh, there, go this way maybe. But this is where I put the little trinket boxes. Now I did re realize after I put it up there that my little teapot one doesn't fit on there too perfect, so. I may stick that somewhere else just to keep it safe and then keep that in mind that they can't have a wide base on them. But anyway, I thought this, you, know, you can see how my tray's coming together. And those look super cute up there, but I think I am gonna move that teapot one um, because I know this is Travis's bedroom wall and some he doesn't slam his door, but sometimes he shuts his door kinda firmly and I can just see that come toppling off of there. 
So, but anyway, I've got two to go on top of there for sure. Or maybe, you know what I could do? This is what I'll do. I'll put a glue dot on the bottom of it and just glue dot it up there. I might do that with all of them. That way they won't fall off. Hey, that's a better idea. Sometimes I come up with ideas just talking with you guys. Yeah, I'm just gonna glue dot them up there. All right, let me show you where I put the other two pieces. This is where I put the um, picture. You're getting a little tiny sneak peek of my fall decor. <laughs> but I'm not gonna show you, I'm not giving you a wide angle of it. I just wanna show you, I've got some florals in it. And here's where I have the little leaf. I have it down in my family room on this little A-frame shelf. And I just have it leaning against a little wooden box. And I did put a couple of little glue dots on it to kind of hold it in place. And I think that looks really cute there. All right, friends, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, leave me a thumbs up and a comment in the comment section below and let me know which one of these items was your favorite. And remember, this is a secret thrift haul. Not that any of you would talk to Olivia, but some of you might. Don't let the cat out of the bag. We'll talk to you later, friends. Bye-bye.